Welcome to the Omega Studio News, news you can use. I'm your host, Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me here. Today is March the 27th, 2018, and I am live here on Speaker, that's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R dot com. This is Speaker Radio, and another episode here with the Omega Studio News slash talk show T. Talk Show T will be back on the air April 13th, 2018. That is a Friday. It is the first Friday in the year of 2018. Let's get down to business. <laughs> okay, so, um, all right. So, uh, you know, the review or the trends that's going on today in social media, because that's what the Omega Studio News do, we review breaking news to social media or uh, you know, celebrity news or community-based organizations and or what's trending. And it seems like, you know, I had a long light last night because if you haven't noticed, the Queen's Supreme Court was out on full, in full effect last night live with the show and also live with the after show on uh, T.S. Madison Henson's Instagram. And then also Gag Order was out with Queen Kaya, the thug missus. And uh, Kelly Harrison was out with uh, Blog Talk Radio. So my review on the Queen's Supreme Court, this is a jury review. And the three topics that we will be reviewing, the jury reviewing on from a juror perspective is the Bobby Valentino case that was brought up on the docket, as well as the McDonald woman who went in and uh, assaulted a woman that was on the docket. And last but not least, the babies that was left in their car seats where one of the, the judge had said that it that the baby looked like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, as well as the lady who uh, drove her car into a pole to prove to her kids that God was real. So, yeah, so um, I reviewed live on last night, started about 10.05, because, you know, with the Queen's Supreme Court, it's colorful time, and they came on, and we had a special guest. So the special guest that was on there was uh, Tiffany New York Polar, who... If everyone remember the star of reality, Flavor Flav, where she was there and she was a contestant. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put this in real quick here. I want to say, first of all, let's start off with the baby in the car seat and the lady who drove her car into the pole. Now, I really, really believe from the jury perspective, we don't really know the cases behind. We only seen what was there, you know, allegedly. But if that is the case, this lady needs to be uh, uh, found guilty for doing what she did. Because if you had to prove to God that God was real to drive your car into a pole, then what would have happened if you guys would have died? You guys would have just wound up being in heaven and, and seeing each other or being in hell and seeing each other. But that's not a way to prove to uh, anyone that God is real. There's other ways you can um, prove to God. Um, and, and that is not one of the ways. And uh, also with the girl... Um, with the babies that was in the car seats, we did see the babies walking with their car seats. That was kind of amazing that those kids was walking like that, you know, able to walk like that. But it was disgusting to know that the ch children was left in there, you know, to walk like that. And they weren't being attended because I didn't see anybody attending uh, these kids. They could at least pick them up and set them down or something like an adult or something. Or even kept them in a car. You understand? It is a car seat, you know. And when you go through a car wash, you don't really have to, you know, take people out of the car. You can stay in a car. So the jury find them guilty, you understand, even though they were um, reprimanded by the Queens last night. But uh, the jury finds the, uh, them guilty um, in their perspective. And then let me just add something to this when we're speaking about babies and adults. 
there was also another woman who was brought on a docket uh, where she had got she had had her baby uh, inhale marijuana. Now the juror had a condone of such thing because it is very wrong to you know get your get any child to start smoking. But one of the judges, um, I believe Tiffany, had said that uh, it was okay if the baby was given some type of oil or something. Or now, let me say something. Now, babies they can get THC. It is the main ingredient inside of marijuana. Only because, like, for medical reasons, they may have some type of seizure, epilepsy, whatever. But the way it was given. She shouldn't have recorded it, if anything, to make a hassle out of it, but she did. So, uh, you know, now you got to pay the consequences because you know the law. So we find her guilty and uh, we really hope that she can be a better parent. The Queens has sentenced both of them to rehab, the baby and the woman. Okay, so, okay. Now, moving on real quick, uh, the McDonald woman who actually ordered a sandwich or ordered food and it was wrong, allegedly. And you see her in the video and she's coming through. I guess she wants her money back or whatever. She wasn't satisfied and she went behind the counter and she assaulted someone, I believe a worker. At that time, the workers should have had should have whooped that woman's ass. Okay, if you don't if you recall there was an incident that happened in New York City where a woman had jumped the counter and a worker had beat this woman senselessly. And and she wound up being in the hospital in a coma. And then later it determined that the McDonald employee was found not guilty because this woman jumped over the counter and she attacked this person. Okay. So this woman who came behind, you know, the counter, she should have, uh, they should have attacked her ass. They should have held her and they should have waited for the police to come. I know the, 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 the queen, the Queens last night actually wanted to let them go, uh, because they say McDonald was on some fuck shit. It's not McDonald's. You understand? You got to remember it's franchises and people who run these McDonald's. You understand? And it's the people that work there. So maybe it may have been an employee, but in the same way, she actually assaulted someone and the queens and them let this woman go. But the jury will find this woman guilty and that we really hope that she is caught. And we really hope that this woman who she assaulted is uh, will press charges against her for doing that. It's not even that serious, woman. Okay? Here it is. You come into McDonald's, okay? And they played you last night. They said a fat woman, the fat girl, okay? A fat girl going to McDonald's. Stay home and cook your own food and lose the weight, okay? So the jury will find you guilty, and we really hope that your face is clear enough for them to see you so they can arrest your ass and bring you on charges of assault. Last but not least, the Bobby Valentino case. Now, Bobby Valentino, they said in social media, allegedly, that he was being accused of rape. Okay, well, recently, the, the Bobby Valentino was on the Queen's Court where he was, where it was another case where a tranny had recorded him and he was leaving an apartment with his pants, zipping his pants up. And she was saying, I have your car keys and I have your wallet and stuff. That was one case that they had tried. I'm not really sure. They said that he, uh, uh, Bobby Valentino is known for sleeping with trannies or known for paying for ass. And the next thing you know, he doesn't pay up for it. Well, this time they had allegedly said that he raped someone. Now, uh, According to a video that was surfing on the internet, VI Skype that had called in, you know, to the Queen's Court, they actually said that uh, he actually made a statement and said that he uh, is innocent and he did not do anything and that uh, he will, um, you know, clear his name. So we hear both sides of the story. I remember at one point Nelly was charged with rape. And then next thing you know, the girl had dropped all the charges and said, no, it didn't even happen. So we don't really know. And we really hope uh, on a, from the Omega Studio News and Talk Show T that Bobby Valentino did not rape anybody because those are serious, serious charges and you can go to jail for that. And sometimes you could come out and register as a sex offender. And it depends on how the case is. So we really uh, want to... Um, 
put this uh, case, want to put this case um, up for help for review, even though the judges uh, uh, vindicated or they made their decision. I believe they made a decision on uh, last night. But um, the jury would like to hold this case and we would like to uh, review this case and hopefully we could uh, see if we, if, if anything, we could make sure or try to bring it back to the docket at another calendar date. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so this has been the review of the Queen's Supreme Court jury review. And uh, again, Bobby Valentino, the McDonald woman, the baby who was smoking weed, the baby who was left in a car seat, and the lady who drove her car into the pole to prove that God was real. Okay? So, there you go. So, uh, without further ado, I do recall that the Queen's Court will not be in session on uh, three, on four two. Uh, I believe that's what she had said. Um, I believe that that's what it what it is. They will not be in session on April the second. So I believe the Queen's Court, the Queen's Supreme Court, will return back uh, on April the ninth. That is the week that the uh, talk show T actually steps up on that Friday, which is the thirteenth. Okay. All right, so here you go. Uh, jury review for last night's show, The Queen's Supreme Court. I'm your host, Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following. Please uh, like, thank those who are here, thank those who are on their way. Uh, and I'll see you when I see you. And also, please stay tuned for uh, Throwback Thursday at 9 with me on YouTube. Holla!